Hey guys, I've been in this automobile space for 25 years. And during this time, I've seen some things that have been, let me just say over the top, things that you don't realize that you really need to pay attention to. So do me a favor, get your pen and paper ready, take some notes because if you're not looking for a vehicle now, maybe you'll be looking for one in the near future. Or maybe your neighbor, your friend, your relative will be looking for a vehicle. I'm gonna talk about three things that happen at the dealership all the time. Number one is bait and switch. You see an ad in the newspaper or you see an ad on TV or you just see an advertisement and we advertise it may be one price on paper but then when you get to the dealership the price is high. Now when you see a, a price advertised online out at the dealership's website it's going to say the MSRP and then it's going to say all these savings or it's going to have one price. I'll give you an example. That price could be uh, $42,000 and then they may the dealership may have 3200 in savings and then they'll advertise a payment and then we'll have that small print in the bottom of the advertisement but you not knowing that you need to qualify for everything in the small print or when you get a dealership we say well you know what you know that's not including the rebate you don't qualify for this you don't qualify for that but the issue is when you got all those other fees added you got you have etch added to your car maybe you didn't want etch or you have low jack added to your car and you didn't want low jack but it's already put on your car items that are added to your car that you don't even want but the dealership added it to the car because that's how we make our extra money by putting it on your car on that car and it's advertising that and then we most and more than likely don't want to be willing to take it off or we can sell it to the next person so bait and switch you know we advertise one price you come in we put you on another vehicle we say well no we got these fees you know we might have a extra a lot of fee, extra fees that you don't know about. It's not illegal, but it's just what we do because we want to get you in the door. Any advertisement you see, our job is to get you in the door, to get our phones ringing so that we can put you into that vehicle so we can sell cars. Number two, spot finance. Spot financing, I did a lot of research. It's done quite a bit in Florida. Now, let me explain what spot delivery is. Spot and delivery is when the dealership takes a credit application and they take your down payment money and they base that, they pull your credit report and they dealership push you into a vehicle, but then they don't have you approved. They say the dealership thinks based on your down payment money, based on your credit score, that they can put you in that vehicle. So they estimate what the rate may be, but you're actually not approved. So there's spot finance. Now in Florida, they can do that. Put you in a vehicle and they call you back after the fact and say, well, you know, you know what? You need to come on in back. We need to change some numbers on the contract or you need to bring the car back. Now in Michigan, where I work at, Joe Lohan Michelle Lay in Waterford, you know, we don't do the spot finance. We look to get an approval. We don't want to put a car on the road based on what we think or based on what the finance manager thinks what he can do without calling that vehicle into the bank. You know, so different states, different dealerships do different things. So if you're not familiar with spot finance and when you go to get that particular vehicle, just ask questions. It's always good when you are educated by it. Instead of just, you know, taking your pen and you're approved and the finance manager says, sign here. They highlight the spots that you need to sign. You know, you got one signature here on the, in, the, in the top. You got one right here. Then you got a third place. You got a fourth place, a fifth place. And what do you do? You just sign wherever the highlighted space are. You're not reading what you're signing or you're not asking questions. Ask questions. Or you can have a conversation with your salesperson. Don't wait just to get into the finance office to start asking those questions. For spot delivery, we don't do spot deliveries at where I work. For spot delivery, again, are famous in Florida. I don't know about the other states, but I did some, you know, it's horror stories about what goes on in Florida. And my parents are from Florida. So just be aware. Nothing's gonna happen to you, but just do your homework. Ask questions. Number three, or financing. Now, this is done in all dealerships all over the world. It's just not a certain state. And it's not illegal. The three things that I've mentioned on this video are not illegal. Bait and switch is not illegal. Spot delivery is not illegal. Number three, forced financing is not illegal. So forced financing is this. 
you go into the dealership and you know you found that car of your dreams or that car you want to buy your maybe your son or maybe your daughter or maybe that loved one and you say you know what go, go pick out that car you want and then they pick out the car and you know you test drive it you're happy you know your your, your, your child or your niece or nephew's happy and you say you know what you get ready for the financing and you say you know what i would like to know an out the door price on that vehicle now otd is out the door finance you tell the salesperson that i want an out the door finance so after you tell the salesperson that you want out the door financing, after you didn't got the numbers worked up, you say to the salesperson, you know, I need, I want to take that to my credit union or I want to take it to my bank. And the finance manager comes over or the sales manager comes over and say, you know what? We have a lot of finance options here. You know, we're off, we offer 0% financing. Or what interest rate can you get at, at your credit union or your bank? And you may say, you know what? I can get 7%. And dealership says, we can't beat that we can give you the same rate so basically what we're doing with force finance we're telling you we can get you a better rate you're not going to get a better rate somewhere else because we want you to do the financing at the dealership i don't want we don't want you to come in with a check we want you to keep we want to keep everything at the dealership so when we, we're persistent we're telling you that we can do the same thing that your credit or your bank can do so we're not like forcing you to do it but it's called force finance again it's not illegal but we want to keep everything in the house we want you to do the financing financing here. If you buy a car, we want you to use our service department here. If you get in a car accident with your vehicle, and we want you to use the body shop. We want to keep everything up under one roof. I hope this video helps you because again, I want to educate you on the next time you look to purchase a lease vehicle. Or I want to help your friends and family. So do me a favor. If you fly on by my channel, I want you to hit the like button and subscribe to the Queen of Car Loans and Credit YouTube channel. All right.